Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be reviewing everything that was covered in DevStream 67. Today we were joined by Forsythia, Archie, and Peter Rockon, I think his last name is. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but from the marketing department is where he is from. Um, he makes a lot of graphics that are used in marketing and different ads and stuff, so for example like the key arts and the stuff that's seen on Twitter. Um, so he's pretty talented. The main focus of the stream was Q&A as well as presenting new information about the Vigor's anniversary. So let's just get right into it. So as always with these dev streams, in these videos I only really cover new information or information that I personally think is important to mention. So there was a lot of repeat information, but one of the first pieces of new information that was given to us was regarding two kill badges. As someone asked about higher levels for the badges and Archie said the team is discussing the possibility of adding more levels to the badges in the future. Um, and that they are aware it is a popular uh, request from the community. Next up, we have some very important dev statements that the report system, which a lot of people have been uh, controversial and, and having lots of opinions over, is not automatic in any sense. So, unlike some predictions that it might just be something where you flag someone a bunch of times and then they're going to get banned, no, every single ban or wipe that could possibly occur due to the report system is going to be reviewed manually by the dev team. So no one will be getting wiped without the dev team's approval. This also means that if you get wiped, you probably did do something bad and the devs probably did see something come up. On this vein, they also mentioned that really the whole emote thing um, being reported isn't about the in-game emotes. I'm not too sure what it is about, but it isn't about the in-game emotes. So don't worry about you know flipping the bird at someone and then getting your account wiped. It doesn't seem like that will be a real problem. On this regard, really, though, they confirm that purposefully tanking an elim round is something that is worth punishment. Um, so if you are one of those players who purposefully tanks an elim round, either by being AFK, disconnecting, or any of that stuff, and you do it a lot of times and you have lots of reports, it is something that could get your account wiped or banned. Um, and they stated that to address this situation, they tried to buff rewards in elim, um, so that way players don't feel a need to tank rounds um, because it was popular in the previous update that people would tank rounds so they wouldn't get elim crates. Um, the dev said they are working on buffing the rewards even more to try and discourage it even further. But all in all, regardless of the rewards, do not purposefully tank rounds right now. It will not go well for you, um, uh, especially since it is something they are considering punishment worthy. Um, following that, they addressed jump, jump shotting, um, with Archie saying he personally is a fan of the change, however that they are aware that a lot of the community is against the change. They followed their statement up with a request to present examples where jump shotting is a problem. I'll present a quick one, that being in angles of incline, it presents a situation where a player can get a, using a jump shot, an angle on an opposing player who is in cover, and that opposing player will not be able to easily counter this. Meanwhile, the player jumping will be able to hit the guy who is supposed to be in cover. Um, but I should note here on my personal opinions, I do think the entire jump shotting situation is an overreaction. I don't think it's a major issue um, universally. I do think it's something that should be fixed and should be reversed, but I don't think it's as big of a deal as really has been made out to be. Um, past the standard Q&A, this month is, of course, anniversary month, so the devs will be doing activities for the game's anniversary. If you follow their Twitter account, you will see daily posts with activities to do, like, you know, fill in a blank or a crossword. I'm guessing we're going to probably have some trivia. Anyone who completes it has a chance to win some crowns. Um, I know the partners aren't really going to be participating in, in it, so you guys have a chance. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about the, the big boys showing up, stealing all the likes and the attention, and then you don't get crowns, so... I'd suggest you guys go give it a shot if you have the time. They also confirmed that later in the month we're going to be getting a larger type of celebration. They didn't really um, add on any details to that. They just said it was something to look forward to and that they would tell us more in the weeks to come. Um, we also know that to on the anniversary uh, day, much like last year, we're going to be having a longer dev stream to celebrate the anniversary. Um, that's going to be on the 19th, of course. And this happened last year, it was really cool last year, and I'm guessing it's going to be very similar to last year, so I'm a little bit excited for that. This all in all wasn't a massively uh, informational dev stream, but that's okay because I'm expecting we're going to be getting more information about the game's anniversary in the weeks to come. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.